Lewis is getting himself a cease and desist. True New Yorker style. All right. Now, I've already had a chance this afternoon to have a look at this. I took the heat sink off because I wanted to see if we're dealing with a PCH failure. So far, there's no physical damage on the PCH that I can see. And I basically stopped there. I thought I'd wait till tonight, get a chance to sit down and do things properly. So we're just going to take the board out and see what's causing it. It could be another classic memory controller failure. We will check with the R811 situation, although we are getting a fan spin. So normally, you know, if you're getting no PM sleep S4L because of the memory controller failure, you won't get to the SO state, so you won't get a fan spin. Now, let's see how we go. I can see already that our um, HS105, our all sys power good section has got corrosion on it, but that might not be the only damage. It's just a teeny teeny smidge of green, but it fits the pattern, and you can see, maybe, yeah, you can see there's little watermarks in here. Uh, this has been corroding away for quite some time. You can see that the board has actually delaminating here, this whole area. It's genuinely lifting off the board. Uh, usually we're more commonly seeing damage around this, which gives us a all sys power good. But this is part of the process as well, and with this damage like that, yeah, there's going to be a bit of trace rebuilding, I would say. Alright, my flux is getting a bit old and nasty looking. Just cranking up the light a little bit so you can see. It's a little bright for me, but hey, you know, the things you got to do for people. Yeah, look at that. Look how bad that is. We're lucky if we keep this trace. I'd oh, it's still there. Amazing. No, it's not. <laughs> now, you may be thinking, why the hell did I scratch it away? Well, the reality is that it basically wasn't a good trace anyway. So we'll just have to run a wire into it. some more damage here. This is why you really got to be moderately aggressive and knocking off all the corrosion because otherwise you'll fix it up for one or two traces and then you won't see the other ones until it comes back under warranty. Yeah look see it's just flaking off This is particularly bad. I mean, certainly it could be a lot worse, but it's also not great. I think it might be a smart thing for me to take off the four closest parts, like that resistor, that cap, and those two resistors. Ask you to drop in. See, I, I don't trust the interface between that pad and the trace. I have a feeling that it's, it's going to be borderline. I mean, it might be there, but it's I wouldn't trust it long term. And obviously we're going to have to rebuild this one. But actually, other than that, it's pretty good.
needs a bit of flux, I think. That's like a little bit too much. Doing the whole two at once thing. At least it's better than when I tried to do three or four. See, and then that happens, and I spend more time separating them. And the worst thing is I burn my. There we go. Burn my fingers trying to get it all sorted out. Atom. All right, I think they're good. I'm not worried about that exposed veer there because it just looks like a generalized grounding veer. It's sort of what you do with these flood fills. You just, uh, when you flood fill for ground, you also put through a whole bunch of veers so as to try and minimize any sort of capacitive buildup between the layers. All right, let's see if this uh, does better than 250 milliamps now. Now we can get away with not having the heat sink on this for a sufficiently short time. So here we go. So we're looking for, we will get the 5 volt and power, but we're looking for the green USB blink. Oh, well, maybe we won't get anything. Seriously? We made it worse? That's awesome. I oh, know, there we go. Four, five, six hundred acre. This thing's running again. But let's verify it by waiting for the green blink. And hopefully the PCH doesn't go Pew! Because they do occasionally do that. You fix them up for one fault, and then all of a sudden things come back into power and the PCH decides to pull the eject handle. There we go, we've got a blinking green, which means the CPU is alive. <laughs> All right, let's see if this thing will even boot and charge. We're not going to put the drive in yet because we want to make sure that we're not destroying anything. All right, it's booted into... Yep, it's all good. 